Hey guys, welcome to my curls. This is gonna be a fun video today. I'm gonna show you some super simple and easy ways that you can bring out the vibrancy in your face when you have gray hair and silver hair. If you go back and look at my videos, there is sort of a common theme. Oh, big wasp. Um, I talk about vibrancy and how much more vibrant I feel now that I have all of this silver hair. I wanted to do this fun little video to show you all some super simple things that you can do to bring out the vibrancy in your skin and in your face now that you have all of this beautiful silver gray hair. Super easy things to do. Um, and what I thought I would do in this video is kind of do a before and after. So I just have on a plain little black t-shirt right now. I do have on some foundation and some blush and then um, not some other things. So I'm going to do my little tricks and then show you the difference in what I look like before and after. So let's talk about the very first thing. So y'all know I got crazy, curly, big hair. I just do, it's what I have, it's part of life, I've learned to deal with it. But I think that one of the most important things that you can do for yourself when you're going gray is to fix your hair. Have a hairstyle. Don't have an outdated hairstyle clearly that's with any you know hair color but it's super important that you fix your hair you can't let your hair go you can't let it be stringy you can't let it be frizzy like you need to do something with your hair but I'm gonna show you how much more put together I look and how it brings out the vibrancy in my face when I actually fix my hair all right so the difference look at all the gray I'm showing now and all I did was put a bobby pin right here. That's it. I just pulled a little back because I feel at this stage in my transition where I'm, I'm basically half and half. I have all of this colored hair down here and all of this silver up top. But when my hair is down, it covers up the silver on half of my head. So it looks like I have this huge, just kind of weird on the side demarcation line when really it's my hairstyle causing that. So I love to pull my hair back and show that I and show the silver. I just think it makes me look so much better. So I just kind of pulled back the side that would be over here and put one little bobby pin in it. That's it. Next thing you can do to really bring out the vibrancy in your face, and y'all, I've said it before. It was in one of my videos where I talked about the things I absolutely must do to feel put together. And top of that list is my eyebrows. So when I put my makeup on today, I did not do my eyebrows. I want to do them for you in this video so you can see the difference it makes. And for some reason, when women get older, they neglect their eyebrows. But for me, because I have curly hair, I actually, my eyebrows are sort of curly too. So I brush them and I just put a little bit of powder in them so they're not so thin. They're just a little bit more defined and I think it makes me look so much better. Let me show you the difference. All right, y'all, eyebrow done, eyebrow not done. Can you see the difference? This side of my face is so much more defined and alive, and all I did was put a little bit of powder in my eyebrows. But you can see how I'm just kind of sparse, but over here it just adds a tad of definition. So I'm gonna do the other eyebrow, and then I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, now. Whew, I feel so much better since my eyebrows are done. But can you tell how much better this makes me look? Two seconds, my eyebrows are put together and I do have my eyebrows threaded about every three months. I've never waxed them. That just doesn't seem right for me because I have curly hair. I just think it would be weird. Um, but I do have my eyebrows threaded. It gives them a little bit of shape. I don't go crazy with it. And then I just put on a little powder. So I wanted to show you I use a brand called Anastasia, and I have the little brush that comes with it. I th actually think you have to buy it separate. 
but it's got a super little pointed end and then this little brush and it's Anastasia I use a color called chocolate and there's two tones in there and you can tell I use them a lot but all I do is just tap Ooh, this is hard to do backwards my little just tap the little end and just barely put a little bit of color on there now let me give you a tip if you do this and you are super super up close in the mirror you are gonna put on too much eyebrow powder you're gonna overdo it stand back a normal distance from your mirror and that way you can get a very natural look to your eyebrows if you get up close you are gonna nitpick every little spare spot and you are gonna completely overdo it so stand back put on just a little bit of eyeshadow and look at the significant difference I mean y'all I think it makes a huge difference in my appearance when my eyebrows are taken care of the next thing I wanted to show you is my eyeshadow I have always talked about how I've been able to wear these eyeshadow palettes that I never could wear before when I had dark hair and I would look at these palettes and they just look so bright and vibrant that they would scare me off or they just didn't seem right but now that I have the silver going on I want to show you the palette that I'm wearing today and I love it so if you look at my eyes it's nothing crazy I just have on a pinky pinky bronzy color today but it looks very natural and what it is urban decay naked palette and it's called cherry but look at these colors can you see how beautiful those are and how vibrant they look in the in the palette but y'all when you put them on they really don't look like that but it really just kind of brightens your face and i actually have on these two colors today where my fingers are they're called ambitious and turn on that's what I'm wearing but it doesn't look like that on my face but it just adds something and so many women when they get older are afraid of eyeshadow and they just want to wear brown and gray and they wear matte I love just a little bit of sparkle it just makes me feel so alive um, matte eyeshadow is just so boring y'all just if you do anything for yourself please just go to the makeup store pick out a palette that just looks fun and give it a try I promise they're not that concentrated when you put them on and it will just give you just a little bit of sparkle that will make you feel so much better with your silver hair you have nothing on my lips I brushed my teeth I put on um, my aquaphor like chapstick I have absolutely nothing on my lips and I want to show you what a teeny bit of color can do for your skin y'all if you have got gray hair you've got to put on some lip color whether it's a lipstick or even a like tinted lip gloss something is super important and I'm going to show you the difference in now and when I put something on now look don't I look so much better with just a little bit of color on my lips all I put on there y'all is a MAC lipstick it looks like this in the tube it looks super dark in the tube but it's really not this is all I have on my lip and this is a color called Viva Glam 5 MAC lipstick but just to add something that, so that your lips are not that nude flat color really 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 just brightens up your face and helps bring out some vibrancy when you have silver hair so go find a fun little lipstick or a fun little lip gloss and just give it a try so to recap what we've done to our face and then we're going to move on to our clothes a little bit of lip color a little bit of blush a little bit of eyeshadow and please do your eyebrows show off your beautiful silver hair and it will make you feel so much better about yourself you don't want to hide your silver you want to own it you want to be proud of it and this is part of it showing it off brightening up your face and being proud of what you have so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna change my clothes because this is huge the color of the clothes that you choose to wear makes a significant impact against your silver hair so watch this 
All right, so I went in the house and I put on a pastel green shirt. This is a shirt that I've had um, since before I started letting my gray grow. And every time I put it on, like I hold it up, it's cute, I wanna wear it, I put it on and I feel blah. Like I look blah, I look not great in this. I mean, at the moment it's doable because I have a tan, but it's really not great. See how this, it's just a little pale green and it honestly does nothing for me whatsoever pastels but watch what happens when I put on a vibrant color y'all like look at the difference I look so much better and any of you will look so much better if you put on a bright color blouse it can be red it can be blue it can be anything as long as there's a little bit of color so the point being pastels and muted and faded and like dusty colors are not great when you have silver hair they're just not so it's you know it's fall now so when you're out shopping for your fall wardrobe or your winter war wardrobe remember to pick up some bright and fun colors now this is a coral it was a springtime shirt but you could pick up a vibrant red or a bright green or a royal blue those colors would be so beautiful and a hot pink against your gray hair so just think about that when you're out shopping for your wardrobe. Think bright and vibrant. And that applies to, it can be patterns as well. It doesn't have to be a solid color shirt, but just think vibrant against your skin versus pastel and dull. So my last little trick of the day, and I've said it before, this is so important, is my earring. I never thought about the color of my earrings, actually. Um, until a viewer sent me a message the other day asking about what's best, silver earrings or gold earrings. And I used to wear both, but I realized that there is a huge difference against my silver hair. So I'm going to show you the difference and let you judge. All right, y'all, here we are. Here's some silver earrings. I mean, it's fine. You would think it would make sense because my hair is silver that I would want to wear silver earrings, but look at the difference. When I put on some gold, it really just picks up the warmth from my skin and makes me look so much better. The gold, really, go with the gold. Skip the silver, unless you're wearing, well, I mean, I still wear gold with black, so yeah, let's get rid of the silver earrings. And I wanted to show you two other options um, I love earrings, y'all, but I love, ooh, how am I going to show you this? I have gold that have glass in them. I think they're always super cute and classy. And then you could do a little two-tone. There is a little gray, but there's some gold in it as well. That's a fantastic way to get some gold. See, gold. It pulls off the vibrancy of your blouse that you're wearing because you're going to have on those vibrant colors. It pulls off the warmth of your skin. It looks so much better. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah. All right, y'all. I am feeling good about myself. I have on my vibrant shirt. I have on my gold earrings and my gold jewelry. So I'm bringing out the warm tones in my skin. I have a little makeup on, my super cute eyeshadow palette, some blush, a little bit of lip color, and of course, I tended to my eyebrows. I have my silver hair showing. I'm proud of my silvers, and I always want to look the best that I can look. I really hope that my tips and tricks help you to feel better about yourself and to be able to, to add some vibrancy into your face, into your wardrobe, as you're transitioning to your silver hair. So until next time, I'll see you later.